The information in this webinar is based on the personal experience of Dr. Janae DeVica and is for informational and entertainment purposes only. The information in this webinar is not intended to treat or cure any disease or to be a substitute for one-on-one -on -one consultation with a licensed medical practitioner. Please consult with your personal medical provider before implementing any diet or lifestyle behaviors discussed in this webinar. Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming today. I'd like to welcome you to the three simple steps to lose weight, fight disease, and feel amazing. Thank you for coming, and I'm excited to spend the next hour with you. I know that you are serious about your health because you showed up here today. You showed up for yourself and your health and your family, and when you implement the things we talk about today, you'll be able to upgrade your health in a really big way. And this is going to be an amazing hour of education, inspiration, and empowerment. So get out a pen and paper. You're going to want to take a lot of notes. I'd like to start out by introducing myself. I'm Dr. Janae DeVica. I'm a nurse practitioner, a nutritionist, and a holistic chef. And it's my passion to educate, inspire, and empower people to heal their bodies while falling in love with their food. I help people to redefine and heal their relationship with their food, their health, and their bodies, and to rekindle their passion for living a delicious life. Now today I am so excited to teach you about the two biggest factors that contribute to every chronic illness, and how changing a few simple things in your environment can make drastic changes in your health. I'm also going to teach you the two biggest stumbling blocks people have when they're trying to switch to a healthy lifestyle and how to overcome those. I'm also going to teach you the seven reasons why so many people fail on their diets and some easy steps you can take to succeed. You'll also learn the biggest mistake you can make when choosing a diet or a cleansing program and the one simple thing you can do to double your chances of losing weight, getting healthy, and staying that way forever. First, I want to tell you a little bit about myself to provide a context for the things we're going to talk about today. When I was young, I was very sick. I had a weak immune system, I suffered from irritable bowel syndrome, and many other health problems. Most days I suffered from migraine headaches, abdominal pain, low energy, mental fog, joint pain, and anxiety. And I went to dozens of doctors and I tried all of the pills and the potions and the surgeries that they recommended, but none of that made me feel any better at all. As my health progressively got worse. I tried going to naturopathic doctors and natural healers. I tried herbs, homeopathics, all sorts of crazy diets and other alternative therapies. And some of these things made me feel a little better, but I continued to get progressively worse. In my 20s, I had to have a life-saving surgery that removed part of my intestines. And although I hoped the surgery would improve my health, I only continued to get worse. I didn't know if I was ever going to live a healthy, normal life. But still, I continued searching for ways to heal my body. A few years after my surgery, I spent three weeks at a wellness clinic where they fed me a plant-based, high-raw, whole foods diet and treated me with natural botanical medicines. And in three short weeks, I lost 30 pounds. My blood pressure and cholesterol went down to normal limits. My skin and my eyesight improved. My joint pain disappeared. My migraine headaches went away. And I felt fantastic for the first time in my whole life. It was then that I was able to connect the dots and see that what I ate directly impacted how I felt and that food could be used as medicine to heal my body. My family and friends wanted to know how I made this transformation and people started coming out of the woodwork asking me what I did to get well so quickly. So in response to all of the requests for help, I spent the next 15 years getting my medical training and teaching hundreds of people how to heal their bodies with the medicinal power of food and botanical medicines just like I healed mine so that they could experience the same radical health transformation as I did. So today I'm going to teach you the same three principles I used to heal my own body and to get hundreds of patients to heal their bodies as well. Now luckily you don't need to spend thousands of dollars at a wellness resort, you don't need to spend a decade and a fortune on medical school, and you don't need to spend 15 years reading thousands of books and research papers and researching the scientific literature like I did. 
I've done all that hard work for you, and now I'm here to help you get the same results as I did in a matter of months instead of years and for a very, very small fraction of the cost. Now, I've helped hundreds of people get healthy by teaching them how to fall in love with their food, their bodies, and their lives, and I have tools and solutions to help you too. Just to give you an overview of where I'm coming from, over the last 10 years, I've worked in various hospitals and clinics, and 95% of my patients come to me with ailments caused by three things, okay? No matter what their disease was, whatever their ailment was, it was either caused by diet, lifestyle, or stress. Now, most practitioners are only trained to write a prescription, refer you to a specialist, and then send you on your way. And when I was getting my medical training, I decided that I wanted to provide something different and something better for my patients. I wanted to help my patients to get healthy now and to have long-term health and longevity into their 70s, 80s, and 90s. I also want them to have emotional health and happiness. We all know that going to the doctor for a 10-minute visit and a prescription is not going to do this for you. I want to help you get to the root cause of your health issues and to fix them for good, not just to mask them with drugs, surgery, and other short-term fixes. However, this option takes a lot of time, a lot of education, and a lot of dedication, which is why I put on webinars just like this one, to give you the education you need to get going and take action on improving your health and getting to the root cause of your health problems. Now that you know why I'm here, let's talk about why you are here. Why did you come to this webinar? What are you hoping to learn from this webinar? What health goals do you need assistance with? What does your ideal health life look like? I want you to keep these things in mind as we move through the information so that you're able to pick out what's most relevant and important to you. Now, whatever your reason for being here, I just want you to know that you are in the right place if you're struggling with chronic health problems like fatigue, diabetes, high blood pressure, digestive issues, or difficulty losing weight, and you haven't found a solution that works for you yet. You're in the right place if you've tried using medications or short-term deprivation diets or radical cleanses in the past, but you just didn't get the results you wanted. This webinar is for you if you're confused with all the conflicting health and wellness information out there and you want the help of a medical professional who can help you get real results with scientifically proven methods. I can definitely help you if you want to look better, feel better, and perform better, but you don't want to figure this out alone. If you want a step-by-step -step solution that you know will bring you quick results that you can maintain for the rest of your life, this is the place for you. Now, this webinar is not for everyone, though. This webinar is only for you if you're ready to start taking responsibility for your health and you're ready to take active steps towards improving your health right now. This webinar is only for you if you are ready to start making some big, lifelong, sustainable changes in your nutrition, your lifestyle, and your mindset. Now, I just want to tell you what this program is not, okay? This program is not a quick fix like a short-term reduced calorie diet or a juice fast. This program is not for people who want pills or supplements to solve their health problems. And this program is not going to omit addressing the critical emotional and psychological barriers that keep people from achieving their goals. Many programs skip over these critical features, but I believe addressing these issues is so important for long-term health and happiness. So now that you know you're in the right place, it's time to talk about the three simple steps to lose weight, fight disease, and feel amazing. Are you ready? In my clinical experience working with thousands of people, I've discovered that when people are searching for solutions to their health problems, there are really two main situations that people are experiencing that prevent them from getting results quickly. Now, perhaps you can relate to one or both of these situations. The first situation is when a person wants to do the right thing, but they don't know what to do and they don't know how to do it. If this is you, you may never have been exposed to the right health and wellness information. You might not know what diet is right for you. And maybe you've been misinformed about what will truly make you healthy. In this case, you're probably frustrated because you've tried lots of things that just are not working for you. Or perhaps you have a general idea what to do and your intuition is telling you which direction to go in, but you've never really gone through the steps before and you're intimidated because of your lack of experience. Now, I understand this sort of fear because this was totally me when I was starting out. I had lots of misinformation and I had a lack of guidance and not a lot of resources and I can tell you it's a frustrating place to be. 
So the second situation is the person that has been exposed to all the right information and knows exactly what they need to do and they know how to do it, but for some reason, they're just not doing it. If this is you, maybe you're having a hard time motivating yourself to do what you know you should. You probably have some self-sabotaging behaviors and you're probably feeling a lot of guilt and shame and maybe you're feeling like a failure right now. You've probably been making excuses for why you're not doing what you know you should and if you're in this situation, you probably have some subconscious programming that's thwarting your very best efforts. Now, this is not your fault. You just don't have the right strategies to overcome your subconscious obstacles. I get it. I've been in this place too. I've totally done my fair share of emotional eating, binging, watching myself undo all my hard work, and wondering why I keep disappointing myself over and over again. The good news is that there are simple ways to turn what you should do into what you love to do, and you don't have to spend the rest of your life battling self-sabotage and regret. Now, regardless of which situation you're in right now, I am here to offer you solutions for both of these problems. I'm here to educate, empower, and inspire you so that you have the knowledge and resources you need for success and also the accountability and support you need to follow through with all of your goals. Now, for the next 45 minutes, I'm going to give you as much information as I possibly can, and I'll walk you through the three most common roadblocks and how to move past them so you can get really healthy and feel really good. Now, while I can't possibly give you everything I know in one webinar, I am going to fit in as much as possible, and I recommend you take notes if you're in a place that you can do so. At the end of this webinar, I'll recap the three steps and give you a link to a free resource guide to get you started right now. So if you can't take notes, don't worry about missing anything. At the end of this webinar, I will also provide you with an amazing opportunity to dive into this topic even deeper with me and create your ideal, healthy, and happy life. Okay, so let's get started. These three simple steps I'm going to talk about today are actually just three parts of a bigger picture that helps us understand our current health and how we can influence it. If you understand this big picture idea, the three simple steps will be easy to understand and apply in your life. This big picture is what I call a universal truth, meaning it applies to everyone and everything everywhere. If you understand this universal truth, you'll be able to put the three steps into action and control the evolution of your personal health. Are you ready for this? The universal truth is you are a product of your environment. You are the product of everything you eat, everything you drink, everything you breathe, touch, think, feel, say. You're a product of the energy around you and the products you come in contact with every day. You're a product of your relationships and your emotions, and you're even a product of the little critters living inside you, which we call your microbiome. Your body is constantly reacting to the environment around you and inside of you and evolving or changing to help you survive in whatever environment you happen to be in. Your body is made up of trillions of cells and those cells communicate with each other through hormones, neurotransmitters, and other chemicals. Now our environment determines how our cells are built and how they behave and how our neurotransmitters, hormones, and organs work and our environment even controls our genetic expression. So this is pretty amazing stuff. Now if you think about it, understanding this big picture is awesome and empowering because all of these things in our environment are in our control. The more we embrace our own power and actively engineer our environment around us to produce the life we want, the more rich and wonderful our life can be. Knowing that we're a product of our environment is so empowering because it tells us that we are not victims of our circumstances. Our health is not some random variable that is out of our control. So if you're overweight or if you have diabetes or high blood pressure or low energy or chronic pain, the good news is that you can manipulate or engineer your environment to create the life and the body and the happiness you want. It's just a matter of figuring out how to engineer that environment around you. Just think about it, for better or worse, the body you have right now is a reflection of what your environment has been for the last few months or years. So maybe some of you are wondering how this works. Well, you see, all of the cells in your body have a life cycle where new cells are created, then your cells do their job, and then they die, and they're replaced with new cells. For instance, your blood cells replace themselves about every three to four months. 
Your skin cells replace themselves every few weeks. Your intestinal lining cells replace themselves every few days. Your liver cells can regenerate in a matter of weeks. Just think about it. What are these cells made of? What are all these brand new cells that are replacing the old cells made of? All those cells in your body are made up from the food you eat every day. So if you want stronger and healthier cells, you need to eat the kind of food that provides the building blocks for manufacturing healthy cells. But the food is only part of your environment. Your cellular regeneration is also influenced by the rest of your environment around you. For instance, like your level of hydration, your thoughts, your stress levels, and the products that surround you in your home and office, and your, even your relationships. So if you want to build better cells and a better body, it's as simple and as complicated as changing your environment. So when it comes to achieving the kind of health and happiness you want, there are three big environmental barriers to having awesome health. And as we talk about these three barriers, I'm going to give you the three simple steps for overcoming these barriers. Now, in my experience, most of us want to be healthy and most of us want to be happy, but sometimes without realizing it, we create an environment that does not support our desires. So these three steps are meant to educate, empower, and inspire you to start re-engineering your environment for optimal health and happiness and to make it fun, easy, and sustainable in the process. So with that in mind, let's get started with barrier number one. Now, barrier number one is what I call toxic overload. We are all living in a really toxic environment. Many of the toxins around us are invisible, and we don't even know that they're there, but they create a massive impact on how we look, how we feel, and our daily performance. They even influence our genetic expression. There are more than 80,000 chemicals in our environment, and many of them are difficult to avoid, and many of us don't even know they exist. In fact, most of us are born with an immense toxic burden that we have no idea is there. Studies have shown that newborns have more than 200 toxic chemicals in their umbilical cord blood, so that's kind of where we're starting. If we are going to solve the problem of toxic overload, the first thing we need to do is develop awareness of the toxins around us. We need to identify what toxins are in our environment, where they come from, and the biological impact they have on our bodies. So just as a brief overview, we need to know where all these toxins are coming from and how are they getting into our bodies. First of all, there are internal toxins and external toxins. Let's talk about the external toxins first. External toxins come from all the things outside of us. They come from common foods that most of us eat every day, like flour, sugar, industrial seed oils, hydrogenated fats, preservatives, food packaging, and food additives. We've also got toxins coming in from things like tobacco, alcohol, drugs, tap water, the air, body and home products, and hidden pollution in our living and working environments, such as mold, lead, fire retardants, chemicals, and plastic toxins like BPA. In addition to the countless external toxins we're exposed to, there are internal toxins coming from inside of us, from the parasites, viruses, bacteria, and fungus inside of us. If we have negative emotions, self-talk, or negative relationships, those also create internal toxins. And if we're under constant stress, the stress response creates a toxic environment inside of us as well. Now, our bodies are pretty amazing, and they're built to deal with a certain level of toxic substances. But if more toxins are coming into our body than are being eliminated from our body, we get what's called toxic overload. To illustrate toxic overload, let's talk about plumbing. So first I want you to imagine your favorite bathroom appliance. You have one, right? Sink, toilet, bathtub, whatever you want. Now imagine that the water is on full blast and the drain is open. Or then maybe you've just flushed the toilet. What happens? Nothing, right? Why? Because bathtubs, toilets, and sinks are designed for water to flow into and out of them. Now, imagine that the faucet is stuck in the on position, running full blast, or maybe the handle of your toilet is stuck down. Now what happens? Well, if the drain is open and water is still able to flow out, you still should be fine. Maybe the basin starts to fill up a little, but as long as the water keeps draining out, it's not going to flow over. Now, imagine that someone tried to 
flush a bunch of paper towels down the toilet. Or maybe there's hair in the bathtub drain clogging it. Or maybe you have a high mineral content in your water and the pipes are very narrow because of the calcium content. Now what happens if the faucet is on full blast? Well, you have a flood on your hands. Why? Because you have more water going into the appliance than can drain out. This situation is very similar to what happens in our bodies. Our bodies are designed to handle some toxins. We have several detoxification pathways that remove the toxic buildup in our cells and organs. In this example, the faucet of your bathroom appliance can be likened to the flow of toxins in and out of your body from the environment. The basin of the bathroom appliance is likened to your body, and the pipes in the drain out of the basin are representing the organs of elimination in your body, such as your liver, your skin, kidneys, intestines, lungs, and lymphatic system. Now, just like different sized appliances have different capacities and different plumbing issues, some people have different toxic thresholds or different detoxification capabilities, and toxins might be coming in at, from diff at different rates and from different places with different people. This is why you might see two people eating the same diet and living in the same environment, and one, one of those people has symptoms of illness and the other one does not. So keep in mind that although the basic rules of plumbing or detoxification apply to everyone, each individual may need a personalized solution for their individual needs. Now, when you turn on the faucet, when the drain is clogged in your bathtub, what's going to happen? Eventually, you'll exceed the capacity of the basin and you'll get a flood. Your bathtub will overflow. When your body overflows with toxins, this can manifest in many different ways, such as cellular malfunction, disease, pain, illness, depression, and other chronic illnesses. Now, how does this play out in terms of symptoms and diseases? Exceeding your toxic threshold can really affect your appearance or the way you look. It can cause water retention, trouble losing weight. It can cause rashes, skin problems, eczema, psoriasis, acne, puffy dark circles under your eyes, or bad breath. Exceeding your toxic threshold can also affect the way you feel. It can cause fatigue, muscle aches, joint pain, sinus congestion, post-nasal drip, excessive sinus problems, headaches, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, foul-smelling stools, heartburn, and canker sores. Now, exceeding your toxic threshold can also affect your performance. It can make it so you don't sleep very well or have dif difficulty concentrating. It can cause you to have food cravings, premenstrual syndrome, or other menstrual disorders. It can cause you to have sexual dysfunction or infertility. Now, exceeding your toxic threshold can also create disease environments in your body. And some of the toxicity-related diseases are probably pretty familiar to you. Um, they include things like nervous system disorders like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, autism, ADD or ADHD, depression, and other mood disorders. It can cause cardiovascular problems like heart disease or high blood pressure. It can cause musculoskeletal disorders like chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, arthritis, respiratory diseases like asthma, sinus problems. It can create immune system disorders like cancer or food allergies or autoimmune diseases. It can really mess with your digestive system. Conditions like Crohn's disease, ulcers, and colitis. It can also mess up your reproductive system and give you problems with uh, irregular menstrual cycles, heavy bleeding, cramps, PMS, infertility, and menopause problems. Now, if you have one or more of these symptoms or diseases, it's probably time for you to start the detoxifying process right now. There are lots and lots of ways to detox, but it's super important to do it the right way. If you don't do it the right way, you might cause yourself more harm than benefit. But don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to detox the right way, so keep on listening. Now, if problem number one or barrier number one is toxic overload, then step one for creating great health or solution number one to that problem is to decrease your toxic load. Now, you can decrease your toxic load in two ways. First of all, you can stop the toxins from coming into your body. Second of all, you can accelerate the detoxification pathways out of your body so that your body can eliminate the toxins more efficiently and effectively. So once we're aware and educated about where all these toxins are coming from and how the toxins affect our health, 
we can start taking action steps to reduce the amount of toxins coming into our bodies and increase the detoxification pathways coming out of our bodies by making changes in the internal and external environments around us. Now, as you start making changes in your environment, make sure that they are holistic and sustainable. Before doing a cleanse or making any changes, first ask yourself, can I see myself doing this consistently as part of my lifestyle five years from now? If the answer is no, it's probably not a sustainable change and you should choose a different change, something that you can stick with for good. Second, I need you to ask yourself if you're trying to fix an isolated symptom or if you're healing yourself on all different levels. Although intensive and specific cleanses have their place, most of us just don't need to only cleanse our colon or only cleanse our liver. We don't only need to lose belly fat or get rid of the cellulite on our thighs or clear up our acne or just lower our blood pressure. We need to heal our whole bodies and detox our whole environment, our home, our workplace, our relationships, our thoughts, our diet, and our whole body on a cellular, psychological, and spiritual and energetic level. And when you try to just fix an isolated part of you while you ignore the rest of your body, you will never ever get the results that you want and you certainly won't get results that last. But when you learn to put it all together and live in a non-toxic life and environment, you'll become more attractive on the outside. You'll become more healthy and happy on the inside. Why? Because your body is a reflection of your environment. And when you change your environment, your body will just change effortlessly. We always have to go back to that universal truth. We are a product of our environment. Now, remember what I said about detoxifying the right way. Rule number one of detoxification is that you need to be realistic and systematic about your goals and you have to avoid overwhelm. Your body is exposed to toxins every single day, so detoxification should be a daily activity. So that means if you are exposed to toxins all year round, a three-day detox once a year is not going to be a permanent solution for your health problems. And the other thing is detoxifying too much or too fast or doing a cleanse that is too short and not supported can actually be more harmful than helpful. Our body and our brains are hardwired to maintain what's called homeostasis. And homeostasis means that your body likes things to stay the same all the time, even if it's bad for you. And your body likes to keep things nice and predictable. So when you make drastic changes way too quickly... Your body puts up a protection mechanism and starts to freak out and try to protect you. And this is when it gets really hard to sustain behavior changes long term. You need to work at the right pace for you and do it systematically so that the most important things get done first. And that way you'll get quick results without causing your body and brain to fight against you. And I think that's what we all want, right? We want quick results, but we also want lasting results. Now, I've talked a lot about some big picture things out there, but I want to make this easy and simple for you. After all, I did call this program the three simple steps. So I want you to be able to make simple action steps today that will help you look better, feel better, and perform better right away. And the most important thing you can do to decrease your toxic load right now is to go get a drink of water. Drinking the right amount of clean, filtered water every day helps you reduce your toxic load in several ways. First of all, drinking pure, filtered water dilutes toxins that have built up in your body and makes them less potent and less toxic. I like the saying that dilution is a solution to pollution. Second of all, water helps you to flush toxins out of your body through your detoxification pathways, which are your liver, your kidney, your colon, your lymph, and your skin. If you're dehydrated, your organs of elimination just cannot work properly. Third, if you drink enough water every day, the water you drink can replace other beverages that put a big toxic burden on your body, like soda, caffeinated drinks, alcohol, and sometimes coffee. Now... For our action steps today, I want you to do one thing that will make the biggest difference really quickly, and that's to get into a daily water routine. What I recommend for my patients is to start out your day with between one and two liters of 
filtered water before you do anything else. So immediately when you wake up, before you eat, before you shower, before you do anything else, get in that one to two liters of water. And if you want to add an extra detoxification kick to your water, you can squeeze a fresh lemon into your water and that will actually help your liver to be able to do a little extra detoxification work. And it'll also help your body to be more alkaline, which helps you to detoxify. Now, a lot of people ask how to calculate how much water they need, and it's a really simple calculation. You just take your weight, divide it in half, and that's how many ounces you need to be drinking per day minimum. So for instance, if you weigh 150 pounds, half of that is 75, and so you would need to be drinking 75 ounces of water every day minimum. Now, I also recommend that you schedule your drinking throughout the day and you don't drink during your meals. So a good routine to get into is to drink as much as you can first thing in the morning, then drink between breakfast and lunch so that you're not um, inhibiting digestion because you have too much water in your stomach with the food, and drink also between lunch and dinner and then before bed. And if you get into the habit of keeping yourself really hydrated every day, it can really help with your detoxification. Now, if you are doing sports or you're in a really hot climate, you're sweating a lot, or if you're under a lot of stress, or if you've just um, created an increased toxic load for your body, perhaps you ate a lot of sugar or junk food or drank some alcohol, you need to drink even more than that minimum amount of water that we just calculated. Now, people ask me what kind of water is the best water to drink, and I don't recommend drinking straight tap water out of the tap. It's got a lot of nasty chemicals in it and that we want that we don't want to increase our toxic load with. So I recommend either um, a home filtration system or reverse osmosis water or spring water that has not been bottled in plastic. If your water has been bottled in plastic, the plastic toxins get into the water and that also increases your toxic load. So a filtered or reverse osmosis water that has not been bottled in plastic is your best option. Now, if you don't like the taste of plain water, and I get this all the time from my patients, ugh, I hate the taste of plain water, what do I do? Check out my resource guide that I'm going to give you access to at the end of this webinar and I will show you a bunch of ways to flavor your water so it tastes amazing but it's also super healthy for you. Now if you're already drinking enough water during the day and you want a simple step to get you going, the second thing you can start doing is just start eliminating foods that create a toxic burden on your body like fast food, packaged food, any kind of processed food, soda, refined sugar, refined flour, refined oils, uh, food packaging, commercial dairy, and food additives. And I know that's a long list, so so that's just for the people that already have the daily water consumption under their belts. Okay, let's move on. Barrier number two is what I call environmental deficiency. So in addition to all the loads of toxins that are coming into our bodies and creating disease and unhappiness, we are also suffering from diseases of deficiency or depletion. Now, these are degenerative diseases like osteoporosis, anemia, heart disease, infertility, and cancer. If you're wondering how the diseases of deficiency happen, um, here's a couple studies that are really interesting. One study sponsored by the National Institute of Health shows that 68% of Americans are magnesium deficient. Other experts put the number closer to 80% of Americans being magnesium deficient. Now that's pretty big. Many people are deficient in vitamin B6, iron, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin B12, and vitamin E. Only 14% of adults in the United States have the minimum recommended amount of daily fruits and vegetables. And so as you can see, most of the people in the United States just aren't getting the vitamins and minerals they need every day to keep their bodies healthy. Now, micronutrients, micro means small, uh, micronutrients such as vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, antioxidants, all these things are found in plant food. And other nutrients such as omega-3 fats, those micronutrients help us to prevent and reverse chronic illness such as heart disease, neurological disease, autoimmune disease, cancer, obesity, and besides they just help us feel energetic and strong. And when we're deficient in these micronutrients, we set ourselves up for fatigue 
illness and early death from chronic disease. Now, besides the micronutrients, there's non-nutrients such as water and fiber that are also really important to help us prevent and reverse chronic illness and to help us look better, feel better, and perform better, which is what we're talking about today. But 95% of Americans don't get enough fiber and over 65% of Americans don't get enough water every day. Now that's pretty disturbing, but we're not just deficient nutritionally. Many of us have deficiencies in our happiness, deficiencies in sleep, movement, exercise, fresh air, sunshine. We have deficiencies in education, job satisfaction, relationships, intellectual stimulation, the list goes on and on. And we don't really take care of ourselves the way that we should. In addition to all these other deficiencies, we have an abundance of stress, self-loathing, guilt, shame, and fear. This is just as detrimental to our health as having lots of toxins in our environment. Scientists have known for a long time that stress and unhappiness significantly contribute to just about every chronic illness out there. So when you think about it... When we have all these deficiencies and all this negative stuff coming our way, what are we programmed to do? What does the media teach us to do? We try to fix the situation by depriving ourselves even more by starving our bodies with low-calorie diets and radical cleanses like the Master Cleanse, which is just maple syrup and lemon juice and cayenne pepper and more stress and further depleting ourselves with too much work and exercises that hurt us. Then we beat ourselves up and constantly have a negative script running through our heads because all this extra deprivation isn't working to make us thin and happy and healthy. So remember when I said earlier that you need to detox the right way or you'll hurt yourself instead of help yourself? When you're looking for detoxification programs, you need to make sure that you're not depriving yourself of imperative nutrients and dieting or detoxing at the expense of your health and happiness, which is, I think that's what we're all kind of programmed to do from the medical world and the media. That's just what we all kind of default to. Now, when I work with my patients to find a detox program that's right for them, I find that it's helpful to explore their motivation for losing weight or detoxing. And I just want you to make a quick mental note. What is your motivation for detoxing or for going on a diet? Many times my patients are motivated by fear of being sick or fear of having health problems or shame and guilt about the way their body looks or performs or just general self-loathing. I find that these are the people who try to fix their problems with more environmental deprivation and unhealthy approaches. And a big part of my philosophy is to help people shift their motivation to loving their bodies, loving their environment, and loving themselves so that they can choose more nourishing and supportive self-care options instead of more deprivation. A big part of my mission is to help people redefine and heal their relationship with their food, their exercise in their bodies, and their lives so that they can be motivated by love instead of fear, guilt, shame, or self-loathing. It's really my mission to help people turn what they should do into what they love to do. So it's time to switch our deprivation mentality to something that will bring us health, happiness, and help us to accomplish our goals through self-love and self-care. And the easiest way to do this is with a mentor who knows how to educate you about scientifically based wellness solutions that encourage living consciously and sustainably. So step number two or solution number two, if deprivation and deficiency is the problem, the solution, of course, is to add in all the good stuff that you need to grow, thrive and be happy. I'm talking about a total environmental redesign of our diets, our relationships, our self-talk, and giving ourselves all the necessary good stuff we need for optimum health and happiness. Things like a nutrient-dense whole food diet, clean water, fresh air, lots of fun, sunshine, movement, spirituality, connecting with the earth, healthy relationships, exercise, stress management, and positive thought patterns. Those are the things that are really going to nourish us. Modern science is showing us that just taking the toxins out of our lives and leaving a big empty hole just doesn't work. We end up filling up that hole with all the same stuff that was there before. That's why most people regain all their weight back plus more after calorie-restricted diets. It's important to know how to replace all the things you remove with nourishing alternatives that you love. I know I said it before, but I need to emphasize that 
there are so many problems associated with detoxifying at the expense of your health and happiness. I know that many of us are trying to add good stuff into our lives, but the problem is that if we haven't cleared out any room for it, if our environment is so full of toxins, there isn't room for anything else. For instance, if you're hungry and you fill up on a bag of potato chips and a soda, you're not going to be hungry for healthy food. Or if you're in a toxic environment at work or in a dysfunctional relationship, you don't have a lot of room in your life for healthy, nurturing relationships. So what we need to do is to clear all the toxins out of our environment that we identified in step one to make some space. Then we need to fill up that space with nourishment for our body, mind, and soul like a whole food plant-based diet, meditation, deep breathing, exercise, movement, and relationships that fill us up with joy. Now, I know for many people, that's a long and intimidating list. And what you probably want is one quick thing you can do right now to make yourself feel better, right? So I'm going to tell you one of the action steps you can take right now today to start feeling good in a matter of minutes. Now, I find that when we nourish, when we learn to nourish ourselves with the food we eat every day, we start to feel better really fast. We have lots of extra energy. We have a better outlook on life. And then we can start working on the things that are just as important, but maybe a little bit more abstract. So if we learn to create a self-care practice, every time we put something in our mouth, it will help us to create habits that are nourishing for us in all other aspects of our lives. Now, whether you eat the standard American diet or if you're paleo or vegan or omnivore, the research shows us that the best way to prevent and reverse illness and to feel better fast is to eat more fruits and vegetables. The experts are telling us that the best way to get healthy and stay healthy is to be eating a whole food plant-based diet that includes between 9 and 18 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Now, if that seems like a lot for you, don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to make this really easy and really delicious. The quickest, easiest, and tastiest way I know to get 10 servings of vegetables in is by drinking a quart of green smoothie every single day. Now, not just any green smoothie will do. If you add lots of sugar and dairy and other high glycemic items like fruit juice, you'll probably be doing more damage than good. But when you make a green smoothie from leafy greens, berries, nuts, seeds, and other healthy fats, you can easily get 10 or more servings of cancer-fighting, health-promoting, fat-busting fruits and vegetables in less than 10 minutes per day. And I think you'll agree that's a valuable 10 minutes to be spending in the kitchen every day, no matter what your schedule looks like. You'll also be getting tons of fiber and other awesome nutrition that will help you look and feel amazing. Now, if you want to add some plant-based protein into your green smoothie, you'll have an easy and quick breakfast or meal that will keep you full and energized all day. Now, to make this easy and awesome for you, I've added a few of my favorite green smoothie recipes to the resource guide so that you can try them out today. All you need is a blender, some leafy greens, and some fruit, and you're on your way to amazing health. Okay, now let's move on to barrier number three. Barrier number three is when people are stuck in a dysfunctional or a faulty paradigm. Now, if you don't know what a paradigm is, a paradigm is a framework containing the basic assumptions, ways of thinking, and methodology that are commonly accepted by a community or a group. So how do you know if your belief system or your paradigm is faulty or broken? Well, when you try to get results in a faulty paradigm or framework, you'll notice that you're working really, really hard and putting a ton of energy into getting your results, but you're not getting the results you want. When I'm personally stuck in a dysfunctional paradigm, I notice it because I feel like I'm running on a hamster wheel, just putting tons of energy into it, but not getting anywhere. This is what happens when you use faulty science or misinformation. It makes it impossible to get a truly healing environment and to create awesome lasting results. Remember when I said earlier that you are a product of your environment? Well, your beliefs or the paradigm you operate in determines what type of environment you create for yourself. There are many, many health and diet myths out there that cause people to fail because they're based on a faulty premise or a faulty belief system or outdated science. So let's talk about some examples of misinformation that's out there that's part of our current paradigm and how this misinformation may have created a big barrier between you and the health goals you're trying to achieve. For instance, I'm sure you've heard somewhere out there that a health and fitness expert recommended that you eat less and exercise more. 
The premise of this recommendation is that if you restrict your calories and get on your treadmill for some endurance cardio, that it will make you healthy. Well, current research is showing us that simply reducing your calories and adding in a little bit of exercise is only a small part of a much bigger picture. And if you don't understand the bigger picture, you might not get the lean, healthy, strong body that you were hoping for. One of the flaws in this eat less, exercise more system is that when people just reduce their calories without considering their overall health, they end up feeling hungry and deprived and craving foods they shouldn't eat because they aren't getting the nutrients they need. They count calories, but they don't pay attention to food quality or nutrition density. For instance, I heard one diet guru on TV recommend swapping caramel candy for cotton candy as a snack because cotton candy has less calories per serving. This doesn't make any sense biologically. It's crazy. Swapping one unhealthy food for another equally unhealthy food is not going to improve your health, even if you're consuming fewer calories. Besides, research shows us that simply reducing your calories is not sustainable long-term for most people. And as a quick note on the exercising aspect of this recommendation, scientists are finding that doing long hours of low-intensity cardiovascular exercise is not efficient exercise, and it can actually cause unnecessary stress to your body long-term. In addition, many people believe the myth that they can just exercise away their bad food choices, which is not true either. Now, another diet myth that is a barrier to success is believing that commercial diet products are healthy for you and will help you lose weight and get healthy. There are thousands of diet products on the market. You can find everything from diet soda to diet breakfast cereal to low-calorie snacks or diet protein bars and protein shakes. There are products that are labeled low-fat or light that make you think that they should be healthy, but they really aren't. There's other products that you think might be healthy for you, like yogurt and gluten-free breads. There's energy drinks and even drugs and supplements that have very deceptive advertising. The list could go on and on forever, but basically the labels on these products try to convince you that their products are good for weight loss and good for your heart and good for your health. But the truth is these claims on the labels are only clever marketing that fools you into eating a bunch of low-quality junk food that will eventually make you fat and sick. Besides the deceptive marketing, these supposed health foods shift your focus to counting calories and portions, and you end up ignoring the more important information like nutrient density or where the product comes from or what it's made out of. The marketing of many drugs and supplements and protein powders tries to convince you that you can take a shortcut to good health by taking a pill or drinking a shake to fix your health problems instead of changing your environment. And that leads us to another barrier to long-term good health, which I call the quick fix. These are health and diet solutions that don't help you to do the right things for long enough. They might be a good idea, but they try to convince you that you can get instant results without building sustainable habits. Some examples of these things are like a three-day detox or calorie deprivation diets or cleanses like a lemonade cleanse or a short juice cleanse or the HCG diet. Now I'm not saying that some of these solutions don't have their proper place in an appropriate setting, but these solutions don't work for most people long term because they only focus on short term results at the expense of your long term health and happiness. The main point here is that if you focus on a fad diet or a quick fix instead of making lifelong sustainable changes in your environment, you'll probably be disappointed with your results. This doesn't mean you're a failure, it just means that you haven't found the right solution yet. Getting healthy is more than a diet or a supplement or an exercise program. Amazing health and longevity comes from forming good habits and detoxing and nourishing your mind and emotions as well as your body. The only way to long-term success is to build a healthy relationship with your body so that you can actually understand and respond to the messages your body is sending you. The skills of intuitive eating, intuitive living, and learning how to honor the wisdom of your body are critical parts for the solution to step number three. So let's talk about solution or step number three. And that is environmental redesign based on a new healthy paradigm. So in step three, if the barrier is a broken paradigm, the solution is to re-engineer or redesign your environment based on a health paradigm that is functional, science-based, and effective. This new paradigm must be used as the foundation for your new habits and your new lifestyle. So now the big question is, how do you know if your paradigm is functional or if it's broken? 
Let's review our three steps to outline the criteria for evaluating a health or diet program. First, take into consideration the first two steps that we talked about. Your current health solution must help you to reduce your toxic load, which means you stop the toxins from coming in and enhance your detoxification pathways to get toxins out. Second, your current health solution must also support you with nourishment and self-care as opposed to deprivation and depletion. In addition, a great program teaches you how to create a healing environment on other levels by teaching you things like stress management skills, communication skills, and how to navigate emotional eating and other self-sabotaging behaviors. Some other helpful tips to choosing a program that will ensure success is one that offers social support and accountability. In just a minute, I'm going to tell you what the scientific research is showing us about the importance of support and accountability. Next, you want to make sure that the program is the right length and has the right combination of quick results and long-lasting habit change. The program should encourage you to set short-term and long-term goals. Short-term goals are important because quick results will give you the confidence you need to sustain your healthy habits in the future. For instance, programs don't have to take very long for you to see results. Your mindset can just change in an instant. Your blood sugar and insulin levels can change in as little as a few days. Plastic toxins or your BPA urine levels can be reduced by 66% in only three days. High blood pressure can drop to normal limits within days, and you can have better energy almost instantly when you're doing the right things. Now, these quick successes are important because without them, you might get discouraged and feel like quitting. But these quick changes need to be maintained over the long term to ensure a life of long health and longevity. Now, the last tip I'm going to give you for choosing the right wellness program for you is to find a program that gives you access to a professional who can help you tailor the program to your individual needs. You need to continually assess the program and ask yourself, is this program working for me? Am I getting the results I want? And if not, it really helps to have a professional who can help you tweak the program to meet your individual needs. Now, you can certainly use these criteria to create your own health and wellness program, especially if you have the motivation, knowledge, and resources to implement it. But if what I've just talked about resonates with you and inspires you to start your environmental reboot, and what you really want is a step-by-step guided program that's guaranteed to get you spectacular results, I am so excited to share an amazing opportunity with you. It's my brand new program called Dr. Davika's 8-Week Detox. It's a step-by-step guide to a hotter, healthier, and happier you. I'm so excited to tell you how you can dive into this program with my help and really create health and happiness from the inside out. Many people wonder how long it takes to change lifestyle habits. Well, research shows us that it takes between 18 and 254 days to sustainably change a lifestyle habit. That's a pretty broad range, and it really depends on your personal circumstances. However... Many experts agree that eight weeks is a great place to start. The research shows us that there are several things that make people twice as successful at accomplishing their goals. The first success tip is to have social support. In studies, people that had social support were twice as likely to succeed and reach their goals as people that tried to do it alone. So that means that by joining a group of like-minded people, you double your chances of being successful. I think those are pretty amazing odds. The second thing researchers are finding out is that people who have a mentor or a coach are also much more likely to accomplish their goals. This is because they have someone with experience to help them avoid pitfalls and overcome roadblocks that might trip them up if they were doing it alone. This means if you are ready to lose weight, improve your health, or improve your performance, having a mentor and a support group will significantly increase your chances of looking better, feeling better, and performing optimally right away. If eight weeks sounds a little intimidating for you, don't worry. You won't have to work the whole eight weeks to start seeing the benefit of your environmental redesign either. Like I mentioned before, you'll start detoxing within days, and most people feel significantly better within a couple weeks. And I'll be working side by side with you the whole way to help you identify and overcome the barriers we've been talking about. Now, when I was doing my health makeover, I went at it alone and it took me almost a decade to find these solutions. The sad part is that with the right help, I could have gotten better in a matter of months, not years. And I want to provide you with the program I wish I would have had when I was younger. Here are just a few specifics on what I'm offering in my new amazing program. 
Each week for eight weeks, you'll get a masterclass with me where I'll teach you everything you need to know about how to create a non-toxic, nourishing life that will help you look better, feel better, and perform better. You'll get my famous Cafe Janae Nutrition Education where I'll show you how to make healthy eating fun, easy, and delicious. I'll teach you how to spend less time exercising while getting better results, and I'll teach you how to manage your stress levels and your psychology so your thoughts and emotions are not getting in the way of your success. Each week, I'll also offer a question and answer session so that when you come up against questions and challenges, you can get professional advice from a medical practitioner to help you overcome those barriers. You'll also have access to resources like accountability trackers, menu plans, grocery store guides, and workbook exercises to track your progress, and also a private support group with peer mentoring and much, much more. To put this into perspective, a one-on-one consult with me costs about $175 an hour. If you can imagine what that might cost for eight weeks, it's about $1,400. But I want to offer you this eight-week program for way less than that. I want you to feel better quickly at a price that you can afford, so I'm going to offer you a special price of only $197. That's a one-time fee, not a monthly membership, not a down payment. That is for the entire program. You can see all the details below, but I just want to let you know that this is the program I wish I'd had 30 years ago. Now, I love to reward individuals who take action quickly, so I'm also throwing in lots of free bonuses for the people who sign up today. If you sign up today, I'll also give you three of my most popular cooking school modules. Probiotics for perfect health, hearty salads and dressings, and cellular cleansing made easy. Each one of these modules includes a 90-minute class video and a recipe book with over 40 recipes to get you started and get you loving the healthy food you're going to be eating. And for the first 50 people who sign up, I'll also throw in my Hot, Happy, and Healthy for the Holidays bundle, which will show you how to detoxify and nourish your body during Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's Day without sacrificing all the things you love to eat. The free bonuses alone are worth over $140, and the program comes with a 100% money-back guarantee, so you really have nothing to lose. If for any reason the program doesn't work for you, just request a refund within the first 30 days, and you can even keep all the free bonuses. So if what I've taught you today resonates with you, and if you've been inspired and empowered by what I've told you today, I would love to have you join me for the 8-Week Detox Challenge. I can't wait to help you create a hotter, happier, healthier version of yourself. If you feel that the 8-Week Program isn't for you, that's okay too. I want to encourage you to download the free resource guide and start taking positive action steps towards creating a non-toxic, nourishing environment that supports your long-term health. And I want you to find a health program that's right for you. This includes any program that meets the criteria I mentioned earlier. In fact, if you're not interested in my 8-week detox challenge, please use the criteria that I've outlined as a guide to help you find the program that is right for you. The most important thing is that you start taking positive action steps towards your health today. Before you sign off, I'd like you to click the link below to download your free resource guide. And for those of you who are ready to start looking better, feeling better, and performing better right now, click the button below to join me for the 8-week detox challenge. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to helping you achieve your health and wellness goals in the future. 